Why are you excited about being homeschooled? Um, have one thing and one word. What? I have the best reasons why homeschool is awesome. Okay, I'm excited to share with you guys what homeschool can be like. That your homeschool adventure <laughs> is the worst time of your life. A lot of you guys have been asking us. You've been sending messages and you've been making comments and you've been sending us messages on Facebook and Instagram um, about if our kids are going to be going to public school this year or if we're going to do homeschool. As most of you or some of you already know, last year we did half public school and then we took them out of school and we did homeschool. We have done a lot of thinking, um, a lot of soul searching, a lot of preparing like asking our kids what they want, um, but ultimately Jason and I have decided what is best for our kids and what we feel is gonna benefit them and our family in the long run. So this is what we have decided. We're being homeschooled! We're being homeschooled! We're being homeschooled! We're going homeschooled! We're being homeschooled! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, for real guys, so for real, on a real note here, Hananiah, why are you excited about being homeschooled? Um, because sitting on a desk for so many hours is boring. It is. <laughs> and, and we can learn more. And I really want to do something called Essentials so I can, like, write better so then I can write a book. And, yeah, and a lot of, and, like, I want to learn sign language. And then oh, yeah, so sign language. So. Hanny has been wanting to learn sign language so she can teach the family and she can teach yeah. Abby. So, so we're going to get you into class. class. Mm -hmm. And then I want to teach them, and it'll be super fun because I really like sign language and I want to them. Um, and I also really want to write a book. Maybe have one thing and one word. What? Okay, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Fortnite. No. <laughs> oh yeah, Shiloh's goal is to be the master of Fortnite, and that's all he's going to do all year long. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, go ahead. Um, I want to play video games in school. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> So, I don't know what I'm going to do. You don't know what you, like what your goals are? That's okay, you don't have to know yet. Yeah, but I'll tell you when I know. But, so you're thinking about it. Yeah. So every year we try to get the kids excited about like a goal or something that they can do. And so he's still thinking about it. I have the best reasons why homeschool is awesome. Okay, Kai, go. Well, number one. It's just awesome anyways, because, well, it's homeschool. Number Duh. two, it's because you're at home and you don't have to take a bus. <laughs> and sit in a, in a bus for eight years. Number three, okay, listen, I'm ex excited. I'm excited to do homeschool because there's just, there's just it doesn't take eight hours. And you're, because there's usually a schedule. You wake up. Go to school, then go to when you come back, do homework, and then go to sleep. It's just non-stop. Kaya, schedule. you don't like it. For hundred years. <laughs> for hundred years. Kaya. Okay, do you have any goals this year, though? For real? I I don't really have a schedule. I just do whatever just comes to my mind. You just I don't really have a goal. I, you're like spur of the moment. If you, you just, think of something, you just do it. Yeah, I'm not the person that just thinks of a goal and then tries to accomplish it, unless it's really important or awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So Kaya is, he's like spur of the moment. He'll be like, let's, boys, let's go down to the river and do this and they'll just go. It's not like he planned it for two days in yeah. advance. Yeah, I I'm get that. I'm not the planning kind of person. <laughs> I get it. What is your little goal this year, Coco? It's probably to get chubby, cute, no, to, cute. to learn to sit up and to learn to crawl and by spring learn to walk probably. Okay, so Ezra, you are seven years old, and you're going to be doing um, first grade this year. So last year when he was in public school, it was really, um, it was a really good school, but uh, Ezra is a very sensitive kid, and so we put him in kindergarten. So we're going to do first grade. You might be ahead of that, but we're going to start with no, first grade. grade. You want to do second grade? Yes. We could start with that. The one thing that we need to work on with you is your reading skills, right? Yes. Are you excited about that? Mm, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. So let's make your goal, Ezra, that you can read so good that you can read me a book. You think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah? <laughs> okay. 
I see, I see that the real goal is eating a granola bar right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. We're gonna be doing homeschool. Ebby's gonna be learning to read this year. Ezra kind of already knows how to read, but he definitely needs to be proficient in it, so we're gonna be working on that. And as far as curriculum goes, I know a lot of people are gonna be asking that. We're gonna get into that in the next few vlogs, because Jason, <laughs> and he's like, I wanna tell you now. Um, but we're gonna get into that and talk over it. I am I am really excited. I'm excited to share with you guys what homeschool can be like and how homeschool has been in our family. Last year was crazy. We had them in school for a little bit and then we took them out. I was pregnant, we had a baby. We honestly didn't do a lot. Like, it, we just didn't, we couldn't because that's just how life was. But that's also the beauty of homeschool. If you need to take a break, you can. And you pick up where you left off and your kids will do great. I promise you, taking a break is not going to hurt your kids at all. So. If you guys are homeschooling, don't be worried about that. We always take a break when we have a new baby and um, we resume right back and we've never had any problems. I promise you, it's okay. Hi, little Coco Bee. You are so cute. Oh my goodness, I just can't Mommy, get enough of her. Smell my toes. Smell my feet, everybody. They're so cute and kissable. She's like, you guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Cute. Ezra took Cozy over here to play with toys. Oh look, she's already playing with toys. Oh my gosh, she's like, she's starting to try and grab stuff, which is really, it's funny. Oh, Ezra, you're such a good brother. I'm gonna make sure that your homeschool adventure is the worst time of your life. <laughs> no, we got an evil, creepy mother teacher. She's from the mothership. <laughs> Panties. She's gonna make his new homework She's for a you. Zombie. She is from the mother alien ship. <gasps> Looky cozy. So I had to dress her up in a cute little girly outfit. Hi, Cosette. Say hi, Hello, little cutie. And look at her little shoesies. <laughs> They're so cute. Her feet, they're actually still a little big, but they kind of fit her chunkiness. What's going on over here? These two boys are just got ready for bed. In her plan. This swing is like the hit of the house. So go get yourself a swing. We got this at IKEA. Everyone asks every single time, every single vlog, but this is from IKEA. Whoa! Live the epic life and inspire someone to your story.